Hello and welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute a day podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, recorded here in the dining room of the Bible Bistro, located in Sharonville, Ohio. Hey there, friends. Welcome back to Daily Dose Radio here in the Bible Bistro. Well, come on in here and let's study together today. Psalm 119, verses 18 and 19. We're in the Psalmic division, which is a primer on covenant. We've seen the covenant words. We've seen the covenant confession. We've seen prayer based on the covenant. We've seen the love-hate relationship back and forth, hating that which is outside of covenant, loving that which is the word of covenant. And, of course, the word of covenant here is God's word. This is the word of God. It's all those things that the psalmist continues to remind us about. The law, the judgments, the statutes, the precepts, the word, the way. All of those things are part of this covenant that we're keeping. Now today we come to 18 and 19 and we're going to see the dark side of covenant actually. So let me read verses 118 and 119. You have made light of all those who err from your statutes because of the falsehood of their deceitfulness. You have turned all the wicked of the earth in dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. So in uh, 118, in the King James, it says, you've trodden down all them that err. Mine is, I have, you've made light of all those who err. In 119, uh, it says in the King James, you put away all the wicked of the earth like dross. Mine has, you have turned all the wicked of the earth into dross. So I take the, the like dross idea in, uh, and change it just a little bit. Therefore, I love your testimonies. Okay, so as I said, the dark side of covenant. Those outside of covenant have no relationship with God. As a matter of fact, they stand before him condemned because they have no relationship with him, because they've not dealt with their wickedness, their sin, because that's not been cared for. You know, they've not applied the word of God to their life so that something can, something good can come to them. But no, what they receive is that the Lord has made light. He's, now he's answering, he's answering the supplication in a way here, because in the supplication, he said, turn away from me, evil ones. Here, you've made light of all those who err from your statutes. You see, the, everyone is judged in relation to this covenant, this word. You've made light of all those. You have, what did the King James say? You've trodden down, you know, all those who err from your statutes because of the falsehood, the falsehood of their deceitfulness. There's a reason why. And so here, as I said, this is the dark side because there is punishment for those outside the covenant. Again, you have turned all the wicked of the earth into dross or treated them as dross. That is something to be cast off. It's refuge. It's rubbish. It's to be done away with. I don't think today there's enough preaching about the condemnation of sin. God hates sin, and he's going to judge it. Whether in this life or in the next, it will be judged unless we confess and repent. If you hide your sin, friend, it's it's not going to do you any good. It's going to be found out. But if you confess and repent before the Lord, then those things are going to be handled. But all who have turned to their own ways, well, there's judgment waiting for them. Notice he says, therefore, I love your testimonies there in verse 119. I love your testimonies. Again, the word love we had it in 113, we have it again here in 119, connects the whole idea together, that even in judgment, there's love. And this is really the sum of the covenant, that God's turned away the wicked, and yet those who love the covenant are still there. Now, tomorrow we're going to look at verse 120, and we're going to talk a little bit more about covenant judgment and another one of those principles of covenant that we need to understand here on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. For more fresh and delicious Bible studies, podcasts, books, and more, check out the Bible Bistro online and on YouTube. Join me again next time for Daily Dose Radio.